This week on this is Ruth Yole sharing my favorite roast beef recipe, my entrepreneur fashion week collection, and lessons I've learned in business. Man, there's so much to learn about business. I want to share my nuggets. Welcome to my world. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Ruth Yole here. I am super excited that you're joining me in episode two of This is Ruth Yole. Today I have a very easy to make lemon and rosemary beef roast if you're new to this channel karibu sana grab a cup of tea or coffee or whatever you like drinking and join me make sure you subscribe and tap on the notification bell to get notified when i upload new videos this is a very easy to make recipe with rosemary and lemon really as the main ingredients guys i hear from i'm from the motango clan and motangos love meat i could eat meat from Monday to Monday, it is very serious. Comment down below if you relate and let me know which clan you are from. This is a very interesting thing, by the way. You'll need meat tenderizer, one small lemon, two sprigs of rosemary, a teaspoon of oil, 50 ml of water, and salt to taste. Fresh meat in the butchery is normally tough. Um, and so I like using my tenderizer. This is a tenderizer I bought from the supermarket a while back, tropical heat. So I'll begin by poking holes into the meat using my fork, just poking it, poking as much as I can. And then I use a generous amount of meat tenderizer and rub it on the meat and give it 30 minutes to soften. So this is really safe. I've not had any bloating or any side effects with this tenderizer. It's just that it breaks down the tissues and really helps soften the meat. Meanwhile, chop the rosemary, squeeze one lemon. I really like to use this lemon squeeze. It literally turns the lemon upside down and mix together in a bowl and add salt to taste and we are good to go. Cut some foil and then place it on your baking sheet. Place the meat and then uh, just spread the your marinade and about 50 milliliters of water and about a teaspoon of oil. The water helps keep the meat moist and also the steam cooks it so well. So our meat is ready it smells so good in here i am going to let it rest for 10 to 15 minutes so that the meat relaxes and the juices are evenly distributed so the meat is even more tender the meat is finally rested it looks so good and so tender and so juicy as you can see so i'm going to cut into it and take a bite this is the moment of truth this meat is so tasty so juicy so fresh and the lemon and the rosemary add such great taste it's amazing that it's just two main ingredients and it has complete they have completely they have completely transformed the meat next lessons of learned in business make sure you subscribe so i began my business in 2018 seriously though i had it in 2016 immediately I completed campus around june and so it's been like about three years since I seriously began business. And man, there's so much to learn about business. I want to share my nuggets. And probably this will help you or keep you motivated in the business journey. Number one, in business, I have learned that you have to be passionate. Passion is essential for business. You really cannot do anything you're not passionate about because it will require passion. The journey of business is like life you know the ups the downs the in-betweens they just do stays you're like oh yeah well nah. but passion is essential for business number two start where you are just start wherever you are just start i started baking in my mother's house in my mother's oven i actually used her baking tins and i even up to now use her baking tins of course i've bought time uh bought some with time but start where you are. There's no right. In fact, 
every whenever you feel like you should start a business, that's the right time you should start your business. Start and grow. Allow yourself to go through the journey of business. Yes, plan definitely. Though for me, to be honest, I hit the ground running. I cannot say I had a business plan, to be honest, to begin with. But of course, with time, eventually I had a business plan and I also had um, like goals and I have goals. Like I know I want to achieve these goals by such a such a date. And I'm flexible now with COVID, you know, I've had to be flexible and just uh, believe that, you know, things are still going to work out. But just start. There's no right time. There's no wrong time. When you want to start your business, fugua biashara anza. Number three, have faith. Believe that when you open your business, that you'll have clients. Even when you don't know where you're going to get them. Faith is very essential for business. I remember when I started business, I was very anxious. I was very nervous. Yes, I believed that I would get clients, but I really learned that it's not helpful at all. Like faith just keeps you going and faith works. So believe you're going to get clients. Believe that you are solving a need for people. And trust me, you are going to get clients. And you see, like for me, I moved out in 2020. And guess what? Three months later, COVID hit the country, COVID hit the world. And you see, I had to believe that God is going to bless me with clients because I had moved to my parents' house and the plan wasn't for me to go back, you know. And that is just what has kept me going. There's that faith that, you know what, God knows where I am. God knows that I need clients. God knows that I need to be paid, blah, blah, blah. So have faith. Believe that you're solving a problem. Believe that you bring a solution. Believe that clients are going to ask for your services and they're going to buy and they're going to pay for your services number four is giving for me i've learned giving just bless like it's more blessed to give than to receive you know even the bible says that giving is just the secret to success like it's one of the secrets to success give wherever you are i learned to give when i was very broke there's a time i remember i i had just fair and a little extra on top and i felt you know give someone give this person someone who came at it was around evening in, the, in town Don't be wise you know not everyone be wise give according to how you feel you should give be wise so anyway so this guy came and he was like oh naita jipesa ya nini nini i just felt give and i started giving when i was like i only had fair and a little money on top and since then it's been like that give where your your time your money and tithe also for me Truly, I believe in tithe and I believe when you tithe, you give God his part and he will bless you. He will open the floodgates of heaven. He will surely bless you. So give tithe, give your time, give your money, give. And the final one, virtues. You need patience, you need hard work, you need perseverance. Guys, those are inevitable, those are uncompromisable. Kwanzaa the hard work part. I have said this in my previous video, but you'll have to work extremely hard. Sometimes late into the night, sometimes very early in the morning. And that is even before you start seeing the fruits of your labor. So work hard, be patient. Nothing grows overnight. Rome will not build in a day. Uh, be patient. Eventually you'll see the fruits of your work. And also I should add one more thing. Be honest. Yes, I know there's a lot of ukora. I know, I know, but... Honesty is the best policy. You know, there's a reason why this wise man wrote these proverbs. Honesty is be honest. Be honest with your client, the service you're offering them. Don't charge them X amount of money and compromise value. Because people will notice and not everyone is going to come back and start complaining about bad service. People will go away. But if you're consistent, if you're honest, definitely you'll get clients, you'll get referrals. It will be a very exciting journey. So those are my five nuggets. Comment down below. Uh... And share your experiences in business if, you're, if you've started business or you are in the business or you want to start business. And let's interact, let's chat. And really, it's a forever thing. Finally, all about my Entrepreneur Fashion Week collection. So I'm going to share with you my Entrepreneur Fashion Week collection. I showcased this collection in March uh, in Westlands at Diamond Plaza. It was such an exciting project to do. For the first time, I did a menswear collection and I did tie and dye for some of the pieces, as you'll see. So let's get into it. I began by sketching the collection. So each I sketched each piece down. 
Then the some pieces I actually did tie and dye. So I'm going to get into it. My first piece is this very beautiful um, dress. This is a wedding gown actually. So I decided to mix brown and white. And I actually handmade the petals, so this was a really exciting project. This is such a pretty, pretty dress. I know this can also be an evening gown, actually. Yeah, and a very nice twist to the traditional white wedding dress. Next, this very beautiful layered um, dress. This is a very adventurous uh, dress. It's a very adventurous dress. Yeah, so I combined orange and green, a bit of tie and dye. You can see the tie and dye detail. It's quite clear. It's very pretty. Very, very pretty. Next is this dress. It's a green dress. It's really pretty. You can attend an event with this dress and you'll definitely stand out. Next, this very beautiful jacket. Oh my gosh, I love this marbled effect on the jacket. So beautiful. So this was paired with green pants, jungle green pants. So next is this very beautiful uh, dress. So I combined plain fabric, plain blue fabric, and also tied and dyed fabric this is so pretty it's very calming actually and it's very fancy it has silver a silver zip from the top all the way down really really nice next this very beautiful one hand dress i like the tie and dye detail on top and then the chiffon at the bottom it's very elegant very classy and you can wear this at an event very nice paired with heels and you're good to go so that's all for the women's wear let's go to the men's collection so i'm going to begin with these pants and these are tie and dye pants really beautiful i love the print and those pants were paired with a very nice waistcoat so as you can see this waistcoat is all tie and dye really nice this tie and dye shirt is really really nice and you can pair this with plain pants this was my best look and this is a blazer oh my goodness just look at this tie and dye blazer so so beautiful so beautiful i love the tie and dye so so beautiful oh my goodness and then this was paired with some nice shorts look at that look at that really really nice Thank you so much for watching today's show. If you like any of the pieces, you know your girl will sort you out. And also, if you try the recipe, let me know. You can send me photos via DM, on Facebook, and on Instagram. And if you're in business, keep going. If you are begin, if you want to begin business, go for it. So until next time, make sure to subscribe and tap on the notification bell to get notified when I upload new videos. Bye. Mwah.